gentlemen, welcome to the GWA Arena as Global Wrestling Alliance presents Mayhem. We're coming to you live from Seattle, Washington in the GWA Arena and of course, I am Joe Davis, the voice of the GWA. Let's get started right away. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 500 pounds, the Eliminator. Let's start out with tag team action. Let's show you how we got here. Four weeks ago, the Eliminators were attacked by the World Tag Team Champions. High energy before the match could even get underway. Two weeks later, the Eliminators with that maneuver right there by Cliff Russell, was able to gain a non-title victory over the tag team champions following uh, the following week in one-on-one -on -one action. The champions were looking to eliminate Vince Dixon completely. Cliff Russell was taken out in the back, but he was just able to get into the ring in time to save his tag team partner. And just two nights ago on Supercharged, they were ambushed again by the tag team champions, this time with the belts in the back of the head. So uh, you could say that High Energy has had the Eliminators number over these last couple of weeks, but definitely with underhanded tactics, blindside attacks. But a non-title victory, the Eliminators do have over High Energy. If they can defeat them here tonight, we'll have new World Tag Team Champions. Walking his clients, Willie Jones and Derek Wright, together known as High Energy, and also known as the GWA World Tag Team Champions, into the ring. And Don Holmes has certainly got this team riled up ever since he's put them together, and of course he's got something to say. Now, Don Holmes letting everybody know that high energy of the homestead is here, as if we could miss them. And you can say what you want about Don Holmes and his managing style and what he's done for high energy. Believe me, I have. But it's kind of hard to argue with the results. Here they stand as the GWA World Tag Team Champions. Another victory here tonight and they will continue that reign. The official holding up the hardware. Gonna have Willie Jones and Vince Dixon starting things out. The bell rings 
and mayhem is underway and look at this belly to belly suplex an overhead throw by Vince Dixon to start things off these fellas ain't working by the hour they want the world tag team titles and a reversal by Willie Jones Insigiri right to the back of the head of Vince Dixon and up and down with the elbow but no water in the pool and look at this wheelbarrow into the DDT by Willie Jones and a senton will follow that up tag and in comes Derek Wright the only man in GWA to be a two-time world tag team champion one and just a one there when he became the world tag team champions with Willie Jones he had made history first man to become two-time world tag team champion he's very proud of that he's hoping to continue his reign uh, after tonight look at this roll through one and a kick out by Vince Dixon Derek Wright trying to catch Dixon off guard get that quick roll up pin to retain the world tag team titles set into the corner now with velocity what a night we have for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as Harry Sharp puts his career on the line to challenge for the world title against pretty boy Arthur Caldwell. We've got the United States Heavyweight Championship match coming up later on. The women's world title will be on the line. We got a cover by Vince Dixon. One, two, and we nearly had new World Tag Team Champions. We also have a mixed tag team matchup that I am looking very much forward to as the Van Divers are set to take on the Sokolovs. Both of them, Maria, scheduled to get in the ring tonight and get exactly what's been coming to her. In the meantime, we have this match for the World Tag Team titles. Vince Dixon is in no man's land. Gets the right hand of Willie Jones buried in his girts. Look at Willie Jones. Spinning head scissors takedown. Vince Dixon doing all he can, crawling to try to make it to his partner. Stiff kick to the girts. Don Holmes has this team primed and ready to go. One. Two, three, no, the official says only two. Vince Dixon able to get the shoulder up to keep his team in this match. Face first by Willie Jones. And it looks like Jones had something in mind, but that allowed Cliff Russell to get the tag. And now Russell's taking advantage. Cliff Russell with Willie Jones in the corner. And now look at this. What a submission hold that he's in the ropes. He ain't going to be able to hold on to that very long, but he can do some damage nonetheless. And back in the ring, and since Russell had to go to the outside, it allowed Willie Jones time to tag in Derek Wright. And look at this. Dragon suplex by Cliff Russell. Perfectly executed and with a snap. And neckbreaker by Russell. And right now the Eliminators are rolling. Derek Wright gets the hell out of there. Going over to maybe get a couple pointers from his manager, Don Holmes. The official up to two. And back into the ring. And immediately met by Cliff Russell who gives it another neckbreaker. Rolling kick by Cliff Russell. And Russell will go over and tag Vince Dixon. We get a tag for Willie Jones. And we're right back to square one. Went for the head scissors takedown. Blocked by Dixon. Insigiri finds the mark. Stiff kick to the Gertz. And went for the reverse heel kick. Nothing doing for Willie Jones. Here comes Vince Dixon. Double underhook set out. Power bomb. Stomping now on the shoulder blade. Arm area of Willie Jones. 
Jones now with a couple of elbows to the breadbasket. Kick to the hamstring and another kick to the upper chest, torso area by Willie Jones. And high energy is once again in control. Vince Dixon, somewhere he doesn't want to be. Tag, in comes Derek Wright, whipped to the far side. High elevation on that back body drop. And the champions are rolling here tonight. And a discus-like clothesline by Derek Wright drops the forearm. Follows it up with another. So far this match has been mostly high energy. Scoop here by Wright and a shoulder breaker. Vince Dixon desperately needing to make the tag here. He gets sent for the ride into the corner by Derek Wright. Wright follows him in. Gets a shot by Dixon. Dixon unable to capitalize until then. What a shot by Vince Dixon. Vince Dixon finally able to get the tag to his partner, Cliff Russell. And Russell looking to put this one away and claim the World Tag Team titles. Look at Russell go. Northern Light Suplex. Russell now with a modified Russian leg sweep. Goes for the cover. One, two, new champions. No, no, the official says only two on that occasion. Cliff Russell looking to put Derek Wright away. Elbow by Wright. And a downward spiral just like that by Derek Wright. And right now, he's got Russell right in his sights. Over the top, neck breaker. Shoulder block to Vince Dixon, sends him to the floor. Here's the tag. In comes Willie Jones. And now, and now Jones, Jones going to the top rope, looking to deliver it. There's the leg drop. It is over. One, two, three. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Another cover, and he's got, he's got his feet on the ropes. And still a kick out. Cliff Russell somehow able to kick out of not only the neck breaker, but the leg drop as well. This could very well be the Eliminator's night, no matter what high energy has thrown at the Eliminators, they've been unable to put them away. In Sigiri by Willie Jones, takes Cliff Russell, sends him to the barricade. Now up on the barricade and a boot to the side of the head. What the, wait a minute. He feels that he can't just beat the Eliminator, so now he's got a damn chair. Does he expect to do with that? The official up to seven, Cliff Russell, struggling to make his way back to his feet. And he makes it back into the ring. And the official, the official's gonna grab the chair, get it out of there before it can be used. Cliff Russell now sending Willie Jones to the corner. And back to that submission hold over the top rope. Can dislocate a shoulder joint that way. And went for the right hand. Nothing doing. Here comes Willie Jones again. Look at this roll up one. Two, broken up by Vince Dixon. Insigiri swept away by Cliff Russell. And Russell sends Derek Wright over the top rope and to the floor. Neck breaker by Willie Jones. A couple of stops for good measure. Shoulder block once again sending Vince Dixon 
to the floor. Cliff Russell is in the drop zone. Leg drop off the top. Cover, one, two, three. High energy successfully retains the GWA World Tag Team titles. The leg drop off the top. And it was enough to secure the victory over the Eliminators. Successful title defense for high energy here tonight. But coming up next, we have one-on-one -on -one action as Owen Gerald Sexton steps into the ring with strongman Aldo P. Wallace in what will certainly be Sexton's biggest challenge yet. Owen Gerald Sexton, undefeated so far here in Global Wrestling Alliance, but that, un, uh, that undefeated streak certainly going to be challenged here tonight as he takes on strongman Aldo P. Wallace. Sexton looking confident, and here comes his opponent. And his opponent from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 379 pounds. Strongman, Aldo P. Wallace. Strongman Aldo P. Wallace is here at GWA Mayhem. Looking to hand the newcomer, Owen Gerald Sexton, his first loss. And if there's any man that can do it, it's definitely Aldo P. Wallace. No doubt about it. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Owen Gerald Sexton. Aldo P. Wallace. The bell sounds and we're underway. Sexton went for a grapple. Bad idea. Although he caught him and arm drags him. I don't think Aldo was expecting that. Aldo now against the ropes and forearm shot to the spine and a second. Sexton now. Gets an elbow buried in his bread basket. And here comes Sexton again. Several strikes. Lock up. Nothing doing for either man. Went for the clothesline. Only staggers the big man. Doesn't knock him off his feet. Aldo with the scoop. And down across the top turnbuckle. Aldo now sends him back into the corner. Really wrenching at that left arm. And goes right back to that shoulder joint again. Aldo P. Wallace knees him right in the face. And the arm bar, or excuse me, a leg bar. Rope breaks and a break that up, but Aldo P. Wallace is definitely in control of this match. Another knee lift right to the face and steps over him with that 370 plus pound frame. Owen Gerald Sexton. He's feeling it now. Welcome to GWA, kid. Hey, wait, reversal into the DDT by Sexton. Plants Aldo P. Wallace right on that chrome dome. Down across the right shoulder joint. But an elbow 
Right to the face by Wallace. And he shuts Sexton down. Now a reversal and into the cover. One, only a one, but trying to catch Wallace off guard there. Got a one for his trouble. Double axe handle smash by Sexton. Down on the left arm now. And Sexton right back to the left arm. Another double axe handle smash. Sexton having to do everything that he can against the bigger, stronger Aldo P. Wallace. Down, didn't quite get the distance, went for the clothesline, it rocks the big man again. Sexton able to tackle him to the mat. And another stiff kick to the spine. Sexton now going upstairs and down with a beautiful splash. And a long two count for Sexton but only a two count nonetheless as Aldo P. Wallace gets the kick out. Now he sweeps the leg. Aldo now hooks him up into the bow and arrow stretch. Is Sexton going to give it up? Are we going to say goodbye to Gerald Sexton's undefeated streak? No, he's able to escape. Pinfall. Nothing doing. And a shot by Sexton. What a clothesline. That one knocked the big man down. Sexton sure putting up a fight. Drop kick. And another. Wallace staggers. Knocked down by Sexton. And down across the right arm yet again. Elbow to the top of the head. What does Sexton have to do to put Aldo away? Another splash off the middle rope that time. Sexton saying it's over. It's done. Back to the middle rope. And look at that! Perfect moonsault. One, two, three. No! Owen Gerald Sexton from the middle rope to the top with the moonsault. He's pulling off all the stops. I was just saying a couple of nights ago on Supercharged what a well-rounded athlete Sexton is. We're certainly seeing that on display right here tonight. But now here comes Wallace. Aldo P. Wallace. Hooks him up, knee to the face. Nothing pretty there. Shoved away by Sexton. Knocked down by Wallace. And against the ropes, back body drop. And hooks him up. Spine buster by Wallace. Cover, that should do it. One, two, three. No, still only a two. Sexton able to roll the shoulder. This matchup continues. Went for the headbutt, missed it. Roll up. One, two, he got it. No, he didn't get him. He didn't get him. He was just a fraction of a second short. Now up to the top rope yet again for Sexton. He's waiting for him to get back to his feet to drop the hammer. Diving clothesline off the top. Sexton has a little bit of momentum, but he's got to stay on top of Wallace. And shoulder block, like running into a brick wall. Wallace is going to stop him. Down, and a chop block right to the leg. And Sexton now, he wraps up the arm. But a shot by Wall is going to break it up. Another knee smash right on the nose. High drop kick sends Wallace to the mat. Sexton trying to beat Wallace to the punch. There's another tackle. And Sexton now. Takes Wallace to the ropes. 
Forearm shot. Make it a double. And Sexton. He's got something on his mind. He's looking to put this one away. He hooks the leg. He turns him over to the modified Boston Crab. Really wrenching on the legs and the back. Look at the torque. Look at the torque by Sexton. But Wallace is fighting it. He's not giving it up. Aldo P. Wallace uses those thick tree-like legs to break out of the hold. Scoops up Sexton. A couple of elbows right on the side of the head. And here's a roll up, roll up. One, two. And he, he got him. He got him. Owen Gerald Sexton has done it. I can't believe it. He out wrestled all OP. Wallace got him in a roll up, cinched it in tight, and gains the victory. And although P. Wallace can't believe it, but he better believe it in the record books. It's going to show a victory for Owen Gerald Sexton. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the Women's World Championship on the line. Tammy Mullins to challenge Amaya Stevens. Let's show you how we got to this matchup four weeks ago. Tammy Mullins attacked by the reigning Women's World Champion, Amaya Stevens. Mullins became the number one contender a few days before at WrestleFest. Amaya Stevens didn't believe that Mullins was in her league. The following week, Mullins made her pay. But that wasn't over, not by a long shot. The following week, after a matchup, Amaya Stevens with a blindside attack on Tammy Mullins. And we'd be far from over as the week later, these two ladies would just go at it, blow for blow, in the aisleway, up by the ramp, in the entranceway. They had to be separated by officials and security. And then the icing on the cake just two nights ago. Amaya Stevens with a championship belt and she lays out Tammy Mullins with it. That brings us to tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Global Wrestling Alliance Women's World Championship. Here comes the challenger, Wild Thing, Tammy Mullins. Talking to this young lady earlier today, she is extremely confident. She isn't letting the attacks by Amaya Stevens get to her. She's not letting the, uh, the memories of that reside in her mind. She's putting it out, and she believes because of those attacks, Amaya Stevens will be running scared. Tammy Mullins believes she has an upper advantage, an upper hand, if you will, over the champion here tonight. Time is gonna tell. And here she is. The champion, the GWA Women's World Champion, Amaya Stevens, the longest reigning Women's World Champion in GWA history. As of tonight, she is at 127 days as Women's World Champion. Looking to extend that reign here tonight. Wait, 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 wait. Tammy Mullins not going to wait for the introductions. This thing is personal between these two, and Tammy Mullins is just getting right after it. She's not going to let this opportunity slip through her fingers. She's going after Tammy Mullins, or excuse me, Amaya Stevens, and Stevens with a jawbreaker. 
And a spine buster to Mullins. This is not just about the Women's World Championship. It's very personal between these two. They do not like each other, and it's going to get settled here tonight. A suplex by Stevens, and Stevens has now gained the upper hand. And a roundhouse kick by Mullins. Mullins now repeatedly slamming the back of the head of uh, Amaya Stevens into the mat. Stevens able to get her ring jacket off. And Mullins once again taunting the champion and the champion has taken advantage. Well now the champion going to do a little taunting herself. But Mullins unable to capitalize. Stevens now with those educated hands punishing Mullins and an elbow by Mullins now. And the official finally going to slide that women's world championship belt out of the ring. Standing moonsault and a cover by Mullins. One. Only a one that time. Tammy Mullins looking to end this historic reign of Amaya Stevens. Stevens has been so dominant since winning the Women's World Championship back on New Year's Day at New Year's Bash. Mullins now. Back suplex, almost, uh, almost looked like the overdrive. One, and just a one for Tammy Mullins, a wild thing. Looking to become champion right here tonight. Wild thing with another standing moonsault. And now using the fists herself and giving Stevens a little taste of what it's like. Mullins now with Stevens. Sends her face first into the top turnbuckle. And break away from Stevens, knocked down, and again, and make that a third knockdown, the hat trick by Amaya Stevens, and Mullins is reeling, but an elbow, and look at this, tilt-a-whirl, head scissors by Tammy Mullins to regain control of this world championship matchup, Mullins Gets kicked in the face. And now another shot. Here comes Mullins back. Amaya Stevens duck under that kick. Stevens now with the spine buster. Amaya Stevens with the furious flurry. Mullins is down. Two and she retains. She does not. So very, very close. But the furious flurry by Amaya Stevens. And uh oh, here it is. Knockout shot. Thanks for coming. One, two, three. Wait a second. Tammy Mullins with the kick out. And listen to this capacity crowd. Tammy Mullins somehow able to kick out after the knockout shot of Amaya Stevens. And more fists by Stevens raining down on the challenger. Tammy Mullins is in all kinds of trouble. She needs to mount a comeback and she needs to do it fast. Here's another cover. One, two, three. Not this time. Another two count. Mullins kicks out and rolls to her stomach. Face first into the mat. And again by Stevens. Amaya Stevens believes, I'm sure, that victory is just a few moments away. Snap suplex by Stevens. 
And a couple of strikes again by Stevens. Drop kick to the leg. It's a good way to dislocate a joint or tear a tendon. Sent to the corner by Stevens. Amaya Stevens really working over the leg here. Another cover. One, two, and still a, just a two for Amaya Stevens. And what a shot on the jaw. Stevens. Wait, Mullins back up. Several strikes by Mullins. And Mullins trying to get back into this thing. Neck breaker, no, turns it around into the face buster. Amaya Stevens has been rocked. Mullins headbutt, is it? Yes, the overdrive, the cover one, two. We have a new world women's champion in Wild Thing, Tabby Mullins. The historic reign of Amaya Stevens is over. After the overdrive, Tammy Mullins is the new champion. Here is your winner and new Global Wrestling Alliance Women's World Champion, Wild Thing, Tammy Mullins. The biggest victory in Wild Thing's career and she is the new GWA Women's World Champion. What a match. And speaking of what a match, what a match we got coming up. It's tag team action. Number one contenders match for the world tag team titles. The Viking Raiders against the Pit Bulls. Viking Raiders set to step into the battlefield with the Pit Bulls. The winners of this match will be named the new number one contenders for the GWA World Tag Team titles that are still held by High Energy. The Viking Raiders would love to get their hands back on High Energy. It was High Energy that took the World Tag Team titles from them. They would love a shot at gaining them back. But tonight, they're gonna have to go up against some rabid dogs wanting gold themselves, the Pit Bulls. to do battle with the Viking Raiders here tonight at Mayhem. I'll be completely honest with you guys, I, I don't have a favorite in this matchup here. And realistically, I would love to see both of these teams go on to face high energy for the World Tag Team titles. But it can be only one and we're gonna find out which team it's going to be right here in the matter of moments. Mahler Isaac starting things out with Ivar, the bell sounds. 
And Mahler hooks him up and he's able to get the suplex. What power by Mahler, Isaac. And Ivar, now with a couple of elbows, backs Mahler up. And a few strikes now by Ivar. Mahler being sent back into the ropes and a reverse elbow by Ivar. And a shot to Luther. Ivar in control at the current moment. Sends Mahler into the corner. And scoop and a slam by Ivar. And now Mahler trying to get over to his brother. A tag to Eric and a dive and Luther does make the tag. And we start things over. Eric and Luther scoop and drops him down onto the top rope. Luther Isaac now in control. Neck breaker. And a low drop kick that did not connect. A tackle by Eric. Shot to the chest. Drops the knee, but nobody home. Luther, back suplex. Now Luther back to the corner and another tag. Here comes Mahler. Another tag from Eric. In comes Ivar. And lock up, headbutt by Ivar. Lock up, headbutt by Ivar. Ivar backing Mahler up into the corner. He's got to get out of there. And look at the scoop by Mahler and down across the top rope. Mahler Isaac, a very strong human being. No doubt about it. That strength on display here tonight. And Ivar is in a bad situation. He's somewhere he doesn't want to be. Face first into the canvas. And here's the tag. In comes Luther Isaac. And in by the big man. And he grabs Luther, sends him for the ride. Power slam by Ivar. Here's the cover. One. And just a one. And Luther gets the shoulder up. Ivar now sending Luther to the corner. Luther with an elbow. Trying to battle out of his opponent's corner. Luther now sends Ivar across the ring to his own corner. And a couple of shoulder blocks now here from Luther Isaac. A shot by Ivar. The back and forth match this is. The winner will be the new number one contenders for the GWA World Tag Team titles. A lot riding on this match. What a shot by Ivar. Ivar now takes Luther, sends him to the corner. Tag by Eric and up. Power slam. Cover by Eric. One and still only a one. Can you believe that? And now Yuranagi by Eric. Luther now is in trouble. He needs to get a tag now to his brother Mahler. Deadlift. And the slam, the cover, and immediately Mahler comes in. Eric thinks better of it. Eric now sends Luther for the ride yet again. Shoulder block, the two stagger. It's like two trains running into each other. Snap, German suplex by Eric. Here's the cover yet again. One, two, then not the three. Not this time. There's a shot to Muller. Eric now. 
Luther fighting back yet again. Another shot. Locks up with him. And what a shot. And look at that neck breaker by Luther Isaac. And now he's just stomping away. Luther Isaac will take Eric to his corner. Face first into the turnbuckle. He's gonna bring him out to the ropes and the shoulder block sending Eric across the ring. He's gonna go for the cover. Here it is, but the rope break. The foot's under the bottom rope. A perfect call by the official. Head first into the corner again. Tag to Mahler. Double team sends Eric for the ride. Up, down with a power slam. Here's the cover. One, two, and no. Only a two for Mahler. Mahler Isaac trying to put this one away for his team. And Eric slips out the back door, runs right into the back elbow. And against the ropes, elbow by Eric. And knee strike right to the face. And now Eric able to make the tag and in comes Ivar. Ivar, what has he got in mind? Spinning heel kick. And went for the shoulder block, but got caught. He got it that time, and Luther falls to the floor. Ivar has Mahler in his sights on the shoulder. Sit out, pile driver. The cover. One, two, three, and it is over. The Viking Raiders victorious. Let's look at this. One of the most devastating maneuvers in all the GWA, the sit-out pile driver by Ivar. And that was all she wrote for the Pit Bulls here tonight. The Viking Raiders are the new number one contenders. Here are your winners, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. The Viking Raiders looking to take the World Tag Team titles back from high energy, they will be getting that shot very soon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of titles wanting to be taken away, coming up next, it's for the United States Heavyweight Championship, Justin Reed challenging primetime Charles Thompson. Let's see how we got there. Justin Reed came back at WrestleFest. He won a match to become the number one contender for the United States Heavyweight title four weeks ago. He uh, sidestepped Gavin Briggs. There was a collision at ringside. Charles Thompson, very upset about it. So the following week, he attacks Justin Reed before he could even start his match. Look at this. Suplex right on the floor. The following week, Justin Reed showed that he was not afraid of the bigger athlete. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in the aisleway. They had to be separated by officials and by security. And the following week, after a matchup, the music sounds, Reed was ready for him, but he got hit from behind yet again by Charles Thompson. And then, just two nights ago on Supercharged, BAM! And he was laid out with the United States Heavyweight Championship belt, showing what a coward he is. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Global Wrestling Alliance United States Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lightning Kid, Justin Reed. 
making his way to the ring for his biggest match ever in his career. He shocked us all by coming back at WrestleFest. He shocked us yet again by becoming the number one contender for the United States Heavyweight Championship. He has shocked us yet again with victories over the likes of Gavin Briggs, Sergio Dondalinger, and he's looking to shock the world and the United States Heavyweight Champion here tonight by claiming victory and dethroning Charles Thompson as the United States Heavyweight Champion. And here is the champion, the United States Heavyweight Champion, prime time, Charles Thompson. His actions over these last couple of weeks have been absolutely despicable. I mean, for God's sakes, he is twice the size of his opponent. And he has felt the need to jump Justin Reed on a number of occasions. It just shows me that he's worried. He is scared. He is afraid that Justin Reed will do the impossible and primetime would end up losing the United States Heavyweight Championship right here tonight. Let's go to the ring for the official introductions. Introducing the challenger from Eugene, Oregon. Weighing in at 168 pounds, Justin Reed. And introducing the champion from Salem, Oregon. Weighing in at 273 pounds, he is the Global Wrestling Alliance United States Heavyweight Champion. Prime time, Charles Thompson. Well, champion and challenger both introduced to the masses. Charles Thompson will surrender the championship belt to the official. Reed will get a look at it. And that's what it's all about for these two here tonight at Mayhem. The United States Heavyweight Championship. Justin Reed is ready. Charles Thompson is ready. The bell sounds and we're all ready. Look at the head scissors takedown by Reed. And again, and Justin Reed coming out like a house of fire. He knows he cannot waste time. Clothesline into the corner and look at Reed go. Justin Reed with no let up. And Thompson now runs over him with the clothesline. Justin Reed came out swinging. He sweeps the leg now of Thompson. Drops the elbow. Justin Reed firing on all cylinders. Clothesline and a knockdown to Thompson. There's the elbow drop. And Justin Reed, I think, is taking Thompson off guard here. I don't think Thompson was expecting this out of Reed. But a scoop here into the corner and chucks him. Thompson now slamming the right arm into the canvas. Drops the elbow, squaring the mush. One, two, and Reed with the kick out. Justin Reed knows that opportunities like this do not come every day. They're few and far between. He's looking to make the most of it. And if he can pull out the victory somehow, some way, he'll walk away as the United States heavyweight champion here tonight. And went for another head scissors, missed by Reed. Reed now gets the atomic drop. Thompson now just punishing this youngster. Drops the elbow, but Reed able to get out of the way. Went for another head scissors. 
couldn't connect. And Thompson now, the punch right between the eyes. Charles Thompson, another knockdown. Slams the arm once again, and Thompson is in control. And Reed now on the receiving end. And a lot of impact on that scoop slam from Charles Thompson. Reed taking a lot of punishment here. Thompson went for the kick, got it blocked. Super kick by Reed. Super kick by Reed. That's it. New champion, new champion. One. Two, he got him. It was so close. So very close for Justin Reed, who hits the super kick, and Charles Thompson is on Dream Street. Justin Reed sets up for it. Lightning leg drop. This is over. New champion. One, two, three. No. No, how close can you get? That was a two and nine tenths. And he gets the right shoulder up and Thompson barely survives. Dragon screw now by Thompson. Justin Reed giving it everything he's got. Airplane spin into the cutter. And now Thompson is back in the driver's seat. Shaking the cobwebs out. Charles Thompson hooks him up. Power bomb into the deep cover. One, two, three. Well, Justin Reed, he's got nothing to be ashamed of. He gave it everything he had. But Charles Thompson, just a little too much here tonight, and he retains the United States Heavyweight title. Here is your winner, and still Global Wrestling Alliance United States Heavyweight Champion. Well, prime time is still the United States Heavyweight Champion. And coming up next, we have mixed tag team action. Chris and Lilith the Van Divers against Alexander and Maria the Sokolovs. Let's show you how we got there. A couple of weeks ago, the Van Divers were interrupted by the Sokolovs and a challenge was issued. And Chris Van Diver had the match going his way. He was distracted by Maria. Alexander took over and was able to take advantage. And then last week, another match between the two. But this time, Maria, on a multiple occasion, you see it here, put her hands on Chris Van Diver. And once again, Alexander was able to take advantage. A couple of nights ago, the general manager said, Maria, you want to get involved? Well, you're going to get involved. And she made this mixed tag team matchup for tonight. Chris and Lilith, the Van Divers. Chris, not finished yet with Alexander, and Lilith can not wait to get her hands on Maria Sokolov. She's practically chomping at the bit to try to get her hands on Maria Sokolov for not only distracting her husband in the match, but putting her hands on her husband. So, Maria Sokolov forced into this match, the first match of her career, and we know she's not an athlete. She is not a professional wrestler. So this is bound to be interesting. And 
here are the opponents, Alexander and Maria Sokolov. And you can see Maria, she's got some gloves on, some knee pads. She is in wrestling gear. She is ready to go. And look at this, Lilith now up on the apron already just, she can't wait. She wants to get her hands on Maria so badly. She may just get that opportunity right here tonight in the matter of moments. What can we expect out of Maria Sokolov? Well, we're gonna find out momentarily. Well, the guys are gonna start things off for us in this matchup. Chris Van Diver, Alexander Sokolov, the bell sounds, lock up, scoop, and a slam by Alexander. Alexander with another scoop and a slam to Chris Van Diver. And sent to the ropes, back elbow. And Alexander will take the early advantage in this matchup. I'm gonna wanna bet that he's gonna wanna stay in there, stay in the ring. One, only one this time, but you know he's gonna wanna try to stay in the ring if at all possible, to keep his wife Maria safe on the apron. But if Chris Van Diver can just get out and over to his wife, tag in Lilith, Maria automatically becomes legal. And now Sokolov, Alexander that is, raining down the right hands. And oh my, it looks like Chris Van Diver has been opened up. Alexander is showing no mercy here tonight. Leg sweep by Chris, and this is what I'm talking about. Here's Lilith, she got the tag, and Maria is legal. Maria Sokolov is in the ring, and, and she immediately tags back out. Here comes Chris and Alexander yet again. Lilith Van Diver unable to get her hands on Maria Sokolov on that occasion. Maria immediately tagged back out. If you could get a look at her face, she is petrified. She wants nothing to do with Lilith Van Diver here tonight. Elbow by Chris. Tackle by Chris Van Diver. Van Diver now stomping on the hand, the fingers of Alexander Sokolov. Right hand again, again. And Sokolov just shrugs it off. The Russian Gladiator is a beast. DDT by Chris Van Diver. I know these people are wanting to see Lilith get her hands on Maria. Chris Van Diver pouring on the punishment to Alexander now. And now, Alexander sent to the buckle. What a chop by Chris Van Diver. Headbutt to the back of the neck. And there's the tag again. Here's the tag and Alexander rolls to the outside and Maria, she gets right back out of there. Maria Sokolov is legal in this match. And look, look at Van Diver, she tried to just she tried to get over the ropes, tried to splash, couldn't get it, overshot, she splatted on the floor. Maria, so far, able to stay away from the grasp of Lilith Van Diver, so far. Back to the outside, slides back in the ring, and immediately re-tags back in Alexander. This is getting very frustrating for Lilith Van Diver, I'm sure. She'd been unable to get her hands on Maria Sokolov this entire match. Chris Van Diver being punished by the Russian Gladiator yet again. And a shot, and an insignificant by Van Diver. Chris Van Diver with the Van Cutter! Van Cutter! Van Cutter! That could be all. That could be it right here. Cover. One. Two, and Maria Sokolov in the ring to break up the cover. 
Maria, that's the first thing that she has done physically in this match since the opening bell. Headlock takeover by Van Diver. Stiff kick to the spine. And Chris Van Diver stomping on the left hand. Sokolov in all kinds of trouble. And another tag to Lilith. And Maria is legal again. She goes over to her husband, but Lilith is there. Lilith has finally got her hands on Maria Sokolov. Look at it. What a slam by Lilith. Lilith Van Diver to the top rope. Maria in the drop zone. Elbow drop off the top rope. Down on the arm, and here's the cover. This could be it. One, two, no. Maria Sokolov with the kick out. Van Diver not going to give up, not going to show any mercy to Maria Sokolov here tonight. Just gonna pour it on. Look at this. Up and over with a reverse cutter by Lilith Van Diver. And Maria Sokolov is in serious trouble. And look at this submission. And Alexander distracting the referee. Lilith breaks the hold. But she's going to go right back to it, it looks like. No, she pulls back, trying to dislocate the, the elbow and the shoulder joints. Lilith Van Diver looking to end it here. Kick, no, block. A kick onto the hamstring. And a tag right back out to Alexander. Chris back in. Lilith Van Diver was able to punish Maria Sokolov for a few minutes, but not enough to put Sokolov away. And now, Alexander, twisted Russian suplex. And now, Alexander Sokolov has Chris Van Diver in his crosshairs. And the missile headbutt. Cover. One, two, three. And, and the Sokolovs win it. Lilith Van Diver was able to get her hands on Maria for a few moments. Maria Sokolov was barely in this match, but the Sokolovs win it. With that match, I don't think Maria got in one offensive maneuver, and yet now in the record books, it will show that Maria Sokolov has a victory here in Global Wrestling Alliance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. Career versus championship. Handsome Harry Sharp against pretty boy Arthur Caldwell. A couple of weeks ago, Harry Sharp and Ray Snyder wanted to challenge the world's champion. It was a tag team match. And on that night, Caldwell was victorious. Two weeks ago, if Ray Snyder would have won the match, Harry Sharp would have been named the number one contender. But that roll up, that, that made that not happen. So Harry Sharp wanted his own match to become the number one contender. Well, in this roll up right here, that stopped that plan, and still no number one contender. But two nights ago, um, the general manager was going to name the number one contender and the main event for Mayhem. They were interrupted by the old gods, and Harry Sharp said that he would put his career on the line for a shot at the title. The champion and the general manager agreed, and that brings us to tonight. The following contest is a two out of three falls match and is for the Global Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Championship. And here comes the challenger. 
the very first GWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Handsome Harry Sharp. When he won that title, his reign lasted a record-setting 136 days. He lost that title to Aldo P. Wallace, and he hasn't been the same since. He teamed up with arch enemy Ray Snyder. They ruled the tag team division for a while. But Harry Sharp wants to be back on top. He wants to be world champion again. And he's willing to put his career on the line to do it. Harry Sharp. Ready to risk it all here tonight. For this one opportunity. And here comes the champion. The heavyweight champion of the world. Pretty boy Arthur Caldwell. A two-time world's heavyweight champion. Being escorted to the ring by the lovely Ashley Price. Set to defend the heavyweight championship of the world against a man that he looked up to like a mentor and handsome Harry Sharp. At one point, Arthur Caldwell even stood up for the honor of Harry Sharp. And now he wears that World Heavyweight Championship belt that has both of their names on the side plates. Harry Sharp and Arthur Caldwell both. What a night this has been, and what a main event this is going to be. That's what it's all about. We're gonna send it to the ring for the official introductions. Introducing the challenger from Kent, Washington, weighing in at 328 pounds. Handsome, Harry Sharp. And introducing the champion from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 238 pounds. He is the Global Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion, Pretty Boy. Arthur Caldwell. Oh, can you feel it? Big fight feel in the air. Handsome Harry Sharp, pretty boy Arthur Caldwell. The GWA World's Heavyweight Championship on the line as well as Harry Sharp's entire career. The official holds up the hardware for the world to see. Oh, this is big, ladies and gentlemen, this is big. They are ready to go. The bell sounds and we're underway. Went for the lockup, but shoved away by Sharp. Knife edge chop by Caldwell. Make that a double. How about a trifecta? Lockup. And the right hand right to the face. Sweeps the leg and Caldwell, the master Matt Matician that he is. Going for the leg already, but a clothesline. Harry Sharp grabs a handful of air and throws him to the mat. Fist drop. And Sharp now stomping right on the face. Another fist drop, but that one missed. And Caldwell with another knife edge chop. Lighting up the chest of Harry Sharp. Another trifecta of them there. Now sends him for the ride against the ropes. Buries the knee, but not enough to take Harry Sharp down. Scoop by Sharp. Up on the, right down onto the top rope. Harry Sharp taking advantage. And here comes Caldwell yet again. 
Caldwell with several blows and another knife edge chop. And DDT by Harry Sharp. Here's the cover. One, two, no. Trying to get that first fall. And there's a damn chair in the ring. Where the hell did that come from? That Harry, excuse me, Ray Snyder must have put that chair in the ring. The official needs to get that out of there. Now sent to the buckle. What a shot by Harry Sharp. Off the ropes. Bulldog! And Sharp now. Down across the right arm. Referee, you're standing on the chair. Get rid of the damn thing. Another fist drop missed by Harry Sharp. And Caldwell now with a knife edge chop. Kick blocked by Sharp. And now Sharp has him by the back of the neck. And a couple of elbows to the Gertz. He's gonna break that up. And now the official finally gets rid of the chair. Up against the ropes. And Caldwell going to send him to the mat. Use the ropes for extra leverage. And wait, wait just a damn minute. And now Ray Snyder, he's effectively, he's, he distracted Arthur Caldwell and Harry Sharp's gonna take advantage. Needs to throw Ray Snyder out of here, does the official. Make sure it's just one on one here. Harry Sharp with Caldwell up on the shoulders and down across the top rope again. And Harry Sharp, look at this, hooks him up. What a shot, turning Caldwell inside out. Cover, one, two, three, and no. The right shoulder barely comes up, but that was almost the first fall right there. But Harry Sharp's got him with the claw, the claw slam by Harry Sharp. One, two, three, and that's the first fall. And give the assistance to Ray Snyder on the outside of the ring, because Caldwell had the advantage until Ray Snyder stuck his nose in where it didn't belong. And now Harry Sharp is one fall up on Arthur Caldwell. Arthur Caldwell has a lot of work to do if he hopes to retain the heavyweight championship of the world. Now, Harry Sharp down across the face again. Here's another cover. One, two, and the officials, you had, you gotta be able to put like maybe one playing card between the hand and the mat. That hand almost came down for three. We almost had a new world's champion. Down across the arm again is Harry Sharp. Sharp now blocked by Caldwell and a knockdown. And another, here comes the champ. He's firing on all cylinders now. Sharp against the corner. Right hand, right to the face. And sweeps the leg. And here comes Caldwell. The master technician goes to work on the damaged and injured legs of Harry Sharp. No doubt setting up for the inverted figure four. That's Caldwell's best option. His best shot at victory is to go for the damaged legs of Harry Sharp and he's gonna go for it he's gonna hook him up right here there it is the inverted figure four he's got it locked in he's got it cinched in deep and yet Harry Sharp he cannot deal with that kind of pain and Ray Snyder now distracting Caldwell yet again Sharp able to get back to his feet waist locks it and the back suplex by Harry Sharp but we're all tied up at one fall apiece here. DDT by Sharp. Caldwell tried to make his way right back up to his feet. Slammed again. One, two, 
No. And it looks like Caldwell has been opened up at the hands of Harry Sharp. Hooks him up. Perfectly executed suplex. Caldwell right back to his feet. Lock up. Twisting the arm. Harry Sharp in the driver's seat. Claw slam! It's over! It's over! We have a new world champion! One! Two! He got it! No! No, he didn't! Somehow, some way, Arthur Caldwell gets the right shoulder up. How did he do that? Harry Sharp. A fraction of a second away from reclaiming the world's title and saving his career. Blocked now by Caldwell. Knife edge chop by the champ. And now wrestles him down. Ripping at the leg yet again. And knee drop right to the face. And it looks like I've seen some blood. Now it looks like it's Harry Sharp that's been split open. And he has the inverted figure four. That's it. It's over. It's over. Harry Sharp struggling, scratching and clawing. He's never withheld this kind of pain for this long. Harry Sharp is battling. He knows it's now or never. And Ray Snyder once again distracting Arthur Caldwell and Sharp once again takes advantage. Ray Snyder just may have cost Arthur Caldwell the World's Heavyweight Championship because Harry Sharp's taking advantage cover. One, two, not this time. Once again, Arthur Caldwell kicks out. My God, can you believe this match? Both men have been opened up. They're beaten, they're battered, they're bloody. Fireman's carry by Caldwell. And the knee is giving so much problems to Harry Sharp. Caldwell's going for it again and he locks it in for the third time. And Harry Sharp can't hold out. He can't put up with the pain. Caldwell wins. The first fall went to Harry Sharp. The claw slam. The cover. And that was the first fall for Harry Sharp. Then Caldwell battled back with the inverted figure four for the second fall. And it was also the inverted figure four that cinched the third fall and the victory for Arthur. Arthur Caldwell is still the world champion, but handsome Harry Sharp, he is, his career is over. Here is your winner, and still global wrestling alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen the last of handsome Harry Sharp. But Arthur Caldwell is still the world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed mayhem.